Rooster Teeth Productions, LLC is an American media and entertainment company headquartered in Austin, Texas and owned by Otter Media, a subsidiary of AT&T's WarnerMedia. Rooster Teeth was founded by Bernie Burns, Matt Hullam, Jeff Ramsey, Jason Saldana, Gus Sirola, and Joel Heyman in 2003. Rooster Teeth began with the production of Red vs. Blue, which premiered in April 2003 and is still in production, making it the second longest-running web series of all time. Due to server and web hosting costs, the founders created sponsorships, which is now known as First, a subscription to exclusive and earlier access to content and discounts on their merchandise store, among other benefits. The company later branched out into live action shorts, series, comedy, let's play videos, and full animated productions. Other projects include reality shows, video game development, entertainment news programs, and podcasts. In 2015, Rooster Teeth released its feature film debut Laser Team, a science fiction action comedy. The company hosts an annual convention, RTX, in several cities around the world. The company's videos are regularly released on its own website and app while podcasts and Let's Plays are still released on their YouTube channel as well. As of August 2018, Rooster Teeth's primary YouTube channel currently has 9.5 million subscribers and has over 5.6 billion video views. Including all of their other channels, they maintain over 45 million subscribers. Topic company history Topic While attending the University of Texas at Austin, Bernie Burns and Matt Hullam collaborated with actor Joel Heyman on a 1997 independent film called The Schedule. The film helped Hullam and Heyman to find work in Los Angeles, but otherwise had limited success. Working for a local company named Telenetwork, Burns later met Jeff Ramsey then named Jeff Fink, Gustavo Sirola, Dan Godwin, and Jason Saldana, and the five formed DrunkGamers.com, a website where the five reviewed various video games while drunk. According to Ramsey, the group tried to receive free games to review, but incurred the wrath of several game developers in doing so. One of the non-gameplay videos that the Drunk Gamers crew created during this time was a live-action parody of the Apple Switch ad campaign. This video featured Sirola as the main actor, used Peter Tchaikovsky's Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy as background music, and focused on the lack of games available for the Apple Macintosh computer. Sirola and Burns said that the name change from Drunk Tank Podcast to Rooster Teeth Podcast was for the same reason that Drunk Gamers was changed to Rooster Teeth. Nobody would give games or sponsor something with Drunk in the title because it was so unprofessional. On settling on Rooster Teeth, Burns stated, We named it something else to give people the idea that we were going to be doing more than that. The name Rooster Teeth is a euphemism for cockbite, an insult from the original Red vs. Blue trailer that Burns described as a touchstone for the audience. Among the company's core philosophies, Burns stated, We only make content that we would want to see, it comes from a very genuine space. I think that our audience appreciates that voice. As of 2017, production costs for an episode vary from $15,000 to $100,000. Rooster Teeth's business strategy is a hybrid model composed of subscriptions, on site pre roll ads, YouTube pre roll ads, licensed studio productions, branded merchandise, and annual live events. Rooster Teeth has attributed their success to maintaining their own community site and was reluctant to join YouTube initially, stating they viewed them as a competitor. In 2014, having signed a two-year lease, the entire company now consisting of over 90 employees moved into Stage 5 at Austin Studios. In November 2014, Rooster Teeth was acquired by Fullscreen for an undisclosed amount. Rooster Teeth agreed to be bought to give itself the resources and tools needed to compete against other producers. Burns elaborated by saying they consider Netflix, HBO, and Amazon their current competition. On February 3, 2015, Burns confirmed that Rooster Teeth would be establishing an office in Los Angeles. These offices were used by a whole new division, Funhouse. The company released their feature film debut in 2015 with Laser Team, a science fiction comedy. In 2016, Rooster Teeth hired three content executives to help with audience expansion, Luis Medina as Senior VP of Partnerships, Evan Bregman as Director of Programming and Ryan P. Hall as Head of Development. Medina will co-manage the Let's Play family with Ramsey, including Achievement Hunter, Funhouse, and ScrewAttack, and manage partnerships with third-party brands such as Cow Chop and Kinda Funny. Bregman will be responsible for programming strategy and boosting growth across all platforms such as apps, the community site, YouTube, and Facebook. 
Hall will oversee Rooster Teeth's development slate and lead efforts to identify up and coming projects and talent. Each year, the company participates in Extra Life, a gaming themed fundraiser with Rooster Teeth's proceeds going to Dell Children's Medical Center of Central Texas. During their 2017 Extra Life stream, they raised a total of $1,209,970.73 USD. On January 26, 2018, fullscreen president and former COO Ezra Cooperstein was appointed as president of Rooster Teeth. In May 2018, Rooster Teeth piloted five shows named Branded, Gork, S Quest, Achievement Hunter, Million Dollars, but Animated, and Rooster Teeth. S Murder Room, and also announced Spike Face, a new 2D, dark comedy show to be co-produced with Rob McElhenney and his RCG Productions. Topic. Animated production Topic. Rooster Teeth Animation is a division of Rooster Teeth that was founded in 2014, with Gray Haddock as the head of the department. Topic. Red vs. Blue Topic. In a parody of science fiction films and games and of military life, Red vs. Blue tells the story of two groups of soldiers fighting a civil war in a desolate and isolated box canyon. Initially, Rooster Teeth expected the series to consist of only six to eight episodes. However, the series became popular quickly, receiving 20,000 downloads in a single day. Accordingly, Burns conceived an extension of the plot. It is currently on its 16th full season, directed by Joe Nicolosi and written by Nicolosi with Jason Waite. In 2018, the short PSA episodes were spun off into their own show, simply titled Red vs. Blue PSA. RWBY <inaudible> 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 is an anime-styled CG animated web series that was created and directed by animator Monty O.U.M., and written by Miles Luna and Carrie Shawcross. The first episode of RWBY premiered on July 5, 2013, at RTX 2013 and was released on the Rooster Teeth site on July 18, 2013. The story takes place in the world of Remnant, which is filled with supernatural forces and shadowy creatures known as the Creatures of Grimm. Prior to the events of the series, mankind waged a battle of survival against the Grimm before discovering the power of a mysterious element called dust, which allowed them to fight back against the monsters. On February 1, 2015, OUM died due to a severe allergic reaction during a medical procedure, but the series he created continues. The success of RWBY also resulted in a secondary series by Rooster Teeth, RWBY Chibi, which features the show's main characters in chibi form, with much more comedic elements and humor. Topic. Rooster Teeth Animated Adventures Topic. In July 2010, Jordan Queers released the first Rooster Teeth Animated Adventures RTAA episode then known as Drunk Tank Animated Adventures, featuring animations depicting stories told on the Rooster Teeth podcast. In October 2011, Queers was officially hired to produce the animated shorts full-time as a feature of the podcast. On October 8, 2014, Rooster Teeth debuted Let's Play Minimations. It features highlights from Achievement Hunter. S. Let's Plays, initially using 3D animation that resembles the sandbox game, Minecraft and later machinimated using Grand Theft Auto V. Camp Camp On April 1, 2016, Rooster Teeth announced Camp Camp with a trailer that aired on their website and YouTube. The series premiered on June 10, 2016, as part of Rooster Teeth. Summer of Animation Promotion. It focuses on a young boy named Max, voiced by Michael Jones, who is forced to go to summer camp but makes two friends there who help him constantly torment their camp counselor, David, voiced by Miles Luna. It airs on Fridays for Rooster Teeth First members and Saturdays for site members. The show was created by Jordan Queers and Miles Luna. The first season was extended by two episodes due to positive reception, for a total of 12 episodes in its first season. Camp Camp 
S. Composer is Benjamin Zecker, with Miles Luna writing the outlines for the Camp Camp theme song song and Better Than You. The DVD, Blu-ray combo pack of the first two seasons was released on May 22, 2018, with its third season premiering on May 25. Topic. Jen, Locke Topic. At RTX Austin 2017, Rooster Teeth Animation has announced that they will be making a new series called Gen. Lock that will be a mecha action drama series by RWBY producer, Gray G. Haddock. It has since been teased at New York Comic Con and RTX London. It was originally set for a late 2018 release, but has since been pushed back to January 2019. On May 21, 2018, it was revealed that the main character, Julian Chase, will be voiced by Michael B. Jordan. Jordan is also set to co-produce the series through his production company, Outlier Society Productions. Topic. Nomad of Nowhere Topic. A new 2D animation show was released on Rooster Teeth first on March 16, 2018. Created by Jordan Whitman, Nomad of Nowhere is a western fantasy hybrid focused on a mute wanderer hunted for being capable of using magic to give life to inanimate objects. Others In May 2004, at the E3 gaming convention, Rooster Teeth was introduced to The Sims 2 and realized that the game would be suitable for a series that parodied reality television. The game's publisher Electronic Arts allowed them to continue with the project. The result was The Strangerhood, a comedy series that centers on eight strangers who awake one day unaware of where they are or how they arrived there. Its first season of 17 episodes completed on April 27, 2006. In 2005, the group collaborated with Paul Marino on Strangerhood Studios, a spin off commissioned by the independent film channel. This spin-off was the first Machinima series to be commissioned for broadcast and won an award for Best Editing at the 2005 Machinima Film Festival. The second season premiered on September 29, 2015, after the stretch goal was reached for Laser Team's Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. In 2006, Rooster Teeth partnered with Maybeck Productions to create Panics, a short series filmed on FEAR. That chronicles the misadventures of Bravo Team, a group of soldiers sent to investigate a paranormal disturbance. The four publicly released episodes were released between September 27, 2005 and October 18, 2005, and a prequel was released with FEAR Director's Edition. The miniseries won an award for Best Writing at the 2005 Machinima Film Festival. Rooster Teeth S. Other Machinima Productions are 1 to 800 Magic, a four episode miniseries created in 2006 using the game Shadowrun, and Supreme Surrender, a 2008 miniseries made using Supreme Commander. On February 13, 2017, Rooster Teeth premiered the teaser trailer for their upcoming animated series titled Sex Swing, featuring members of their Funhouse division based on a recurring joke in their videos where they portray a fictional band of the same name. At RTX 2014, a new animated show called X Ray and VAV was announced, starring Ray Narvaez Jr. as X Ray and Gavin Free as VAV. The show is directed by Lindsay Jones who also voices Hilda and Jordan Queers, with art direction by Patrick Rodriguez. The first episode was released on November 27, 2014. The second season premiered on July 19, 2015. Narvaez and Free reprised their roles as the show's titular heroes, with the addition of Michael Jones as the anti-hero Mogar, and Jessica Dichico as news reporter Ash Samaya. There are currently no plans for a third season, and the show has not been referenced since its conclusion by Rooster Teeth. When asked by a fan if he would return for a third season if asked, Narvaez stated he would not and that he was happy with how it ended. Topic. Live action production Topic. Topic. Rooster Teeth shorts Topic. Rooster Teeth first ventured into live action in 2009 with Captain Dynamic, a miniseries to promote the online game City of Heroes. 
It was based around a team of writers hired to use the new in-game content creation tools to promote the title character, Captain Dynamic, the "...worst superhero in the world." Directed by Matt Hullam and written by Bernie Burns, the series starred Ed Robertson of the Barenaked Ladies, who is a longtime friend and fan of Rooster Teeth. A number of Rooster Teeth employees were present throughout the series, notably Joel Heyman as Captain Dynamic's primary writer. Actor Shannon McCormick appears as the series' antagonist, Great Face. The series also led to the release of an iPhone app called the Awesome Button. Following the positive reception of Captain Dynamic, Rooster Teeth began producing another live action series, Rooster Teeth Shorts, a sketch comedy which parodies life at their offices in a similar fashion to the webcomic. The series features the staff of Rooster Teeth, who all play caricatures of themselves, as well as occasional appearances from voice actors from some of their Machinima series. The first season ran for 20 episodes, which along with Captain Dynamic has been released on DVD. The second season of RT Shorts debuted on April 23, 2010, with new episodes released weekly via the Rooster Teeth website until a hiatus during late July 2010, during which the team focused all their efforts towards Red vs. Blue episodes. With production on Red vs. Blue complete, weekly RT Shorts episodes began again on August 28, 2010, until the second season's conclusion with its 24th episode and DVD release in early December. Shortly before Season 2's conclusion, Rooster Teeth collaborated with the team behind Mega 64, a video game-centered comedy series. Together they produced four Rooster Teeth shorts episodes, which were released on the Rooster Teeth website as the beginning of Season 3. Halfway through Season 4, Burns announced the cancellation of Rooster Teeth shorts for several new series. However, on April 1, 2013, Rooster Teeth announced Rooster Teeth Shorts would return with a fifth season. On the same day, the season premiere episode Reunion was released and marked the 10th anniversary of the company. On August 22, 2013, Rooster Teeth released six, six second mini episodes exclusively through the video sharing service Vine. Six more were published on September 13, 2013. The third set was released on October 11, 2013, followed by a fourth set on November 8, 2013. Topic. Immersion Topic. Immersion is a series in which Bernie Burns and Gus Sirola Griffin Ramsey in the first season test the concepts of video games in real life, such as whether the heckling that sometimes occurs in multiplayer video games would negatively affect the performance of real soldiers. Burns joked in the Rooster Teeth podcast that the series started as an elaborate way for them to do fun stuff and get paid for it. Jeff Ramsey and Gus Sirola were the test subjects throughout the first season. Gavin Free and Michael Jones served as the test subjects for the second season. Various other Rooster Teeth employees have served as test subjects in certain episodes including Miles Luna, Kerry Shawcross, Blaine Gibson and Chris Demaris. During PAX East in late March 2010, Rooster Teeth released a teaser trailer for a series with a pilot episode that tested how easy it would be to drive a car from a third-person perspective. Nothing was mentioned of immersion until October 2010, when Bernie Burns stated during the company's podcast, the Rooster Teeth podcast, that production had begun on further episodes. Soon after, on November 23, 2010, the company released pictures on Reddit of a door in their office turned into a safe room door from the video game Left 4 Dead to build hype for the series' debut the following day. The post became the most popular post of the day on Reddit. Rooster Teeth re-released a tweaked pilot episode the following day to begin the weekly series, which concluded with its seventh episode on January 5, 2011. A new episode of Immersion premiered on June 17, 2011, after five months on hiatus. The episode's filming took place on May 29, 2011, during Rooster Teeth's convention, RTX, as well as 400 participants dressed as zombies. The episode shows Jeff Ramsey and Gus Sirola defending themselves from a horde of zombies. On June 17, Burns stated during a panel at Supernova Sydney that they would be producing a second season, and they were developing concepts. They also confirmed that Gavin Free and Michael Jones of Achievement Hunter would be joining the cast in the second season, replacing Sirola and Ramsey as the test subjects. In the Rooster Teeth podcast, it was confirmed that the second season began production in 2013. 
Burns stated in an episode of the Rooster Teeth podcast that several television stations were interested in picking up the series for its second season. During RTX 2015, Burns announced that there would be a third season of Immersion. The third season premiered in November 2015. Topic. Day 5 Topic. At RTX 2012, 1,800 fans were used as extras for a scene in post-apocalypse short series called Day 5, which initially followed a man fighting to stay awake after a virus spreads that causes anyone who falls asleep to die. The trailer premiered at RTX 2014. While the premise was kept the same, the overall story and characters were later changed drastically. In March 2016, the cast was announced, with filming starting that same month. The first episode premiered on June 19, 2016 on both Rooster Teeth's website and YouTube, though the rest of the series was released exclusively on Rooster Teeth's website for first members, making it the company's first premium exclusive show. Its first season concluded on July 31, 2016. Showrunner Josh Flanagan held a Reddit AMA the following day, answering many fan questions about the show. On February 2017, a second season of the show was announced, along with a second season of Camp Camp. Topic. Million dollars, but. Topic. Million Dollars, But, is an ongoing series in which three Rooster Teeth employees or a special guest each come up with a typically difficult scenario, which the cast comically re-enact, as a condition for which they will be given a million dollars, for example, the person has to date Adolf Hitler for a year. The early episodes usually featured Bernie Burns, Gavin Free, and one other Rooster Teeth employee, but as time went on, the cast became more varied. The pilot episode premiered on May 21, 2015, with the series continuing on July 9, 2015. The series now features special episodes centered around certain themes, such as animation, with all the scenarios revolving around animation. Million Dollars, But, has developed a card game that had a very successful Kickstarter, reaching their goal of US$10,000 within two minutes. The card game was released in mid-June 2016. The gang plays this game at every RTX, and in RTX London it's called A Million Pounds, Although. Topic. On the spot Topic. On the spot is the name of the Rooster Teeth game show that involves members of the Rooster Teeth cast and crew, split into two teams of two people, playing various improvisational games to gain points awarded by the host John Reisinger. The winning team is awarded a golden trophy that resembles Gustavo Sarola, affectionately called the Golden Gus. Although promised to the winner, after being broken several times, the trophy now does not leave Reisinger's desk. A frequent theme of the show is the chaotic humor. Contestants will frequently attempt to annoy and antagonize Reisinger, and to mock his show. The points are assigned arbitrarily and inconsistently based on the random whim of the host, as well as being assigned by the broadcast team that is running the show. In an effort to bring variety to the show, the last two seasons have been themed, with the first themed season being On the Spot Goes to Hell, where John, his show, and his contestants go to hell because his show was too bad. The second themed season is On the Spot, Lost in Time, with each episode being set in a different time period due to a break in the space-time continuum caused by Chris Demaris. Topic. Others. Topic. In 2014 a bi-weekly series premiered called Happy Hour. The series chronicles the drunken adventures of Jeff Ramsey, Gavin Free, and Griffin Ramsey. This series ended on September 24, 2017. Created to test elaborate social experiments, Social Disorder follows Krista Murray and Aaron Marquis as they compete for points as a game show. The first episode, The Body Bag Experiment, debuted on September 15, 2014, in which DeMarais and Marquis had to drag each other around in a body bag trying to get bystanders to help them out. Points were awarded for making up reasons as to what was in the bag or why they were dragging the bag in the first place. Crunch Time is a web series that initially aired in September, 2016. The original trailer was featured on The Nerdist announcement article, and depicted university students creating a machine to allow them to enter other people. 
S. Dreams. The show stars Sam Levine of Freaks and Geeks and Inglorious Bastards fame, as well as Good Neighbor. S. Nick Rutherford, also starring Jesse Hodges and Kirk C. Johnson, who starred in Rooster Teeth. S. First feature film, Laser Team. Supporting the main cast is comedian Brent Morin and true detectives Michael Hyatt as Agents Hobbs and Mullins, respectively. On Halloween 2012, a partnership between Rooster Teeth and Blip was announced, with the premiere of their new 10-episode, reality game competition series sponsored by Geico. The gauntlet followed gamers from around the United States competing in contests of skills, concentration, agility and stamina, inspired by reality competitions Wipeout and The Voice. The first season was hosted by Ali Baker and Bernie Burns. Season 2 was hosted by Burns and Joel Heyman and began on September 7, 2013. Starting in 2014, Rooster Teeth employees Miles Luna and Kyle Taylor started playing video games and recording the gameplay and facial camera footage to create a show originally called Sponsor Play and it was featured as part of the sponsor cut portion of the RT website, an incentive to become a sponsor for their production. This series was renamed to Backwards Compatible in November 2016 along with the change of sponsorship format. The whole series features gameplay of Fatal Frame, Resident Evil 7, Sonic Adventure 2, Alien Isolation, Dark Souls 3, and a few other titles. On September 27, 2015, a sketch comedy show RTS, or Rooster Teeth Entertainment System, premiered for Rooster Teeth First members on Roosterteeth.com. The show is produced in Los Angeles, California and is hosted and created by Colton Dunn. The show consists of Dunn giving interviews, talking about relevant topics, and showing many sketches throughout. It centers around comedy, music, and games. In a sponsor-only video, Bernie Burns stated that RTS would be put on hiatus. Burns began by saying, Occasionally we make some missteps. Referring to RTS. He elaborated by saying Rooster Teeth would be looking at all the audience feedback and apply it to the show in the future. Topic. Commercial work Topic. In mid-2006, Electronic Arts commissioned Rooster Teeth to direct commercials for their EA Sports brand of games, including Madden NFL 2007 and NCAA Football 2007, for broadcast on television. Rooster Teeth released some of this work on their website. In late November 2006, controversy arose over a Madden NFL 07 commercial, when Indianapolis Colts tight end Dallas Clark complained about his depiction in the commercial. Hit and tackled multiple times in the advertisement by Philadelphia Eagles players, Clark stated, I haven't seen the commercial, but I'm upset about it. It makes me look like a punk. In response, Rooster Teeth posted a director's cut, in which Clark plays and dominates every position. They have also made a trailer for a free to play PC game called Loadout, developed by Austin based Edge of Reality. Topic. Film projects Topic. In February 2014, Burns confirmed that the company was going to launch a crowdfunding campaign for a feature film, as a way to offer more support options while gaining publicity. In June 2014, an Indiegogo campaign for Laser Team was launched. The fundraiser hit its $650,000 target within 11 hours and reached over $1.6 million two days later. The film was due for release in 2015. As of July 24, 2015, Laser Team is the second most funded film project on Indiegogo, raising just under $2.5 million. Production for Laser Team began on October 9, 2014. On February 21, 2015, the first official teaser trailer was released, and on March 16, 2015, the full trailer was released. The film premiered at Fantastic Fest on September 24, 2015, where it received a generally positive reception. It was released in theaters on January 27, 2016. On August 5, 2016, because of the success of the first movie Bernie Burns and Gavin Free announced that a sequel to Laser Team was greenlit by Rooster Teeth in partnership with YouTube Red now YouTube Premium, who is financing the Laser Team 2, and that they had officially began pre-production on the film. In December 2016, Matt Hullam confirmed Rooster Teeth is aiming to shoot Laser Team 2 in late spring in Texas followed by release in 2017. Daniel Fabello will be co-directing the sequel with Hullam. Nicole Bloom and Victoria Pratt are also joining the cast. 
Filming for the sequel concluded in April 2017. At RTX Austin 2017, Rooster Teeth announced Blood Fest, a horror comedy film directed by Owen Egerton and starring Seychelles Gabriel, Robbie Kay, and Jacob Batalon. Other cast members include Zachary Levi, Barbara Dunkelman, Nick Rutherford, and Tate Donovan. Topic channels topic topic Achievement Hunter topic Achievement Hunter is a video gaming channel and division of Rooster Teeth created in 2008 by Jeff Ramsey and Jack Patillo. The channel is largely based on the achievement mechanic found in 7th generation video game consoles after being made popular with Microsoft's release of the Xbox 360. Achievement Hunter has since gone on to become a core component of Rooster Teeth Productions and hosts additional content on the Achievement Hunter and Let's Play channels and formerly on GameFails which is currently an archive of past GameFails content. Topic the No Topic The No is the entertainment news division of Rooster Teeth that discusses current events in movies, TV shows, gaming, technology, and media. It is mainly hosted by Ashley Jenkins and Brian Garr, with a selection of other Rooster Teeth staff from each division within the company. It was initially a single news show hosted on Rooster Teeth's main YouTube channel before moving over to its own channel, where it has since expanded into several different categories of entertainment and tech news as well as several different shows, with the latest being Glitch Please, a successor to their earlier podcast The Patch, that was greenlit for a full series after six pilot episodes. Previously The No had hosted Leaderboard, where Meg Turney had discussed esports news, The Patch Game Club, where the hosts of The Patch would discuss a new video game they've played each week, and Screenplay, a film and TV podcast. In June 2016, Turney announced on her vlog she was leaving Rooster Teeth to focus more on cosplay. In October 2017, Variety announced Eric Vesp would join The No as senior writer responsible for original reporting, interviews and developing new shows around entertainment. Vesp had previously worked at Ain't It Cool News for 20 years. Topic Funhouse Topic Funhouse pronounced Funhouse is a division of Rooster Teeth Productions, based in Los Angeles, California. The channel launched on February 16, 2015 by the former cast of Inside Gaming, Adam Kovic, James Willems, Bruce Green, Lawrence Sontag, Matt Peek, Sean Spool Poole and Joel Rubin, later joined by former GameTrailers talent Elise Willems in November 2015 and former IGN host Alana Pierce in August 2018. Funhouse produces gameplay videos in a similar manner to Achievement Hunter. In addition to gameplay, Funhouse also produced segments for The No Up until November 2016. It produces many shows such as Open House, Q&A, Google Trends, a podcast called Dude Soup, gameplay series such as Demo Disc and Wheelhouse, a current live stream called Funhouse TV on YouTube, and the now-defunct Sex Swing, the animated series. In 2016, both Sean Poole and Joel Rubin left Funhouse. On February 9, Poole announced his departure to return to his hometown, where he continues to live stream on Twitch. On April 5, Ruben announced his departure, where he would go to work for SourceFed as Director of Programming until March 2017, when SourceFed was cancelled by Group 9 Media. Topic. Screw Attack Topic. On November 4, 2015, it was announced that fellow fullscreen subsidiary ScrewAttack would become a division of Rooster Teeth and Let's Play. Its website was updated to be consistent with Rooster Teeth's branding, along with all its previously existing users becoming Rooster Teeth users and its forums being absorbed into Rooster Teeth's forums. The website is primarily known for the web series Death Battle, in which they pit pop culture icons against each other in a fight to the death and determine who would win. Other content includes an animated fight show without research called DBX, a podcast called Death Battle Cast, an informative show called Desk of Death Battle, and Top 10 Lists. Topic. Sugar Pine 7 Topic. Sugar Pine 7 is an American entertainment company founded by Stephen Suptic, Clayton, CIB, James and James DeAngelis in 2017. The company's flagship product is the vlog-inspired mockumentary web series, Alternative Lifestyle, featuring the cast as exaggerated versions of themselves. As of October 2018, the YouTube channel has over 1.1 million subscribers and over 115 million video views. Sugar Pine 7 had been a member of the Let. 
S. Play family since May 25, 2017. Sugar Pine 7 was purchased by Rooster Teeth on January 24, 2018. Topic. Game Kids Topic. Game Kids was a division of Rooster Teeth Productions aimed at creating kid and family friendly content. The channel launched on December 1, 2014 and featured the series, Sim Sisters, featuring Millie Ramsey, the daughter of Jeff Ramsey, and her nanny Chelsea playing Sims together. Kids Play. Featuring Matt Hullam and his children Webb and Mills or Bernie Burns and his children J.D. and Teddy, appearing on alternating weeks playing various games, and Bro Gaming, featuring Rooster Teeth employee Caleb Deancor and his younger brother Jordan playing various cooperative games including an ongoing series in Minecraft and Disney Infinity 2.0. Burns announced on a podcast that the channel was quietly put on hiatus to figure out where the company wants to take it, with the channel not having been active since March 28, 2016. Topic. Networks Topic. Topic. Let's Play Topic. Rooster Teeth S. Let. S. Play Network has announced some partnerships with other channels, in addition to its own Achievement Hunter, Funhouse, and ScrewAttack divisions. This meant that the branch would provide merchandise, promotion, and other benefits for its partners. On March 28, 2016, a partnership with Kinda Funny was announced. It was founded by Rooster Teeth co-founder Jeff Ramsey and is run by Luis Medina with Ramsey. Members of the group appear in Rooster Teeth content, and Kinda Funny merchandise is available on the Rooster Teeth store. Kinda Funny Live, was presented by Let's Play and hosted by Burns. A partnership with the Creatures was announced on April 4, 2016. Immediately after its formation, Cow Chop was also confirmed to be part of Let's Play. Cow Chop, unlike most of its fellow Let's Play partners, has its own Rooster Teeth website, with exclusive video content. Game Attack, which was initially spun off from ScrewAttack before becoming its own independent entity, is also part of Let's Play. Like Cow Chop, Game Attack also has its own Rooster Teeth website. On May 11, Achievement Hunter announced a partnership between the Let's Play Network and video game publisher Ubisoft. Streams and gameplay videos done by any of the Let's Play family members featuring games published by Ubisoft will be released exclusively on the Ubisoft US YouTube channel. On May 31, 2017, it was announced that YouTubers JT Machinima, Noah J456, Laserbeam, and Sugar Pine 7 had joined Let's Play, with JT Machinima being the first of which to have merchandise sold through the RT store. On July 12, 2017, it was announced that the Creatures would be disbanding, effectively ending their partnership with Let's Play. The Roost in June 2017 Rooster Teeth launched its own podcast network, called The Roost, representing creators such as H3H3 Productions, Game Grumps, Shane Dawson, Getting Dug With High by Doug Benson, Tiny Meat Gang by Cody Co. and The Valley Folk by Joseph Beretta, Elliot Morgan, Lee Newton and Steve Zaragoza, among others. In July 2018, The Roost added the last podcast on the left, hosted by Ben Kissel, Marcus Parks, and Henry Zabrowski. On September 5, 2018 it was revealed that The Roost would also support both current and upcoming podcasts from The Beam, another podcast network, as part of a partnership between Rooster Teeth and Hello Sunshine. Topic. Video game development Topic. Topic. Rooster Teeth vs. Zombians Topic. Rooster Teeth vs. Zombians is a game made by Team Chaos that features some of the main Rooster Teeth personnel in their fight against zombies in the Rooster Teeth office and parking lot. It was made for iOS, Android and Steam platforms. It has since been taken down from iOS and Android platforms. Topic. RWBY, Grim Eclipse 
Topic. At RTX 2014, Rooster Teeth announced during the RWBY panel on July 4 that a RWBY video game was in development, under the working title RWBY, Grim Eclipse, making this the first video game ever created by the company. An early demo of the game was available for consumers to play at the event. Rooster Teeth CEO Matt Hullam stated, RWBY is a natural choice for us to focus on for our first in-house produced video game. Fans can expect that we will bring the same level of originality in action, comedy and design to the video game that has made the RWBY animated series such a hit. RWBY, Grim Eclipse was initially developed as a fangame by Jordan Scott over the course of five months. A demo version was released on April 1, 2014, to celebrate Rooster Teeth's 11th anniversary, but the demo is no longer available for download. Scott stated at the time that it was not an ongoing project, and he had no plans for any future updates. He described it as a survival based action RPG set in the world of RWBY. On December 1, 2015, the game was released as an early access title on Steam after rapidly being approved through Steam's Greenlight feature. Events <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Topic. RTX. Topic. In May 2011, Rooster Teeth held their first official community event in Austin, Texas. Initially planned as a small gathering for 200 people, demand was so high that over 500 tickets were accidentally sold within minutes of being made available online. Since RTX 2012, each event has been held in the Austin Convention Center, with the attendance growing from 5,000 in 2012 to 45,000 in 2015. In June 2015, Rooster Teeth announced RTX Australia, later rebranded as RTX Sydney, a collaboration with Hanabi and Supernova Pop Culture Expo. In February 2017, RTX London was announced, taking place October 14-15 of that year. Topic. Let's play live. Topic. Let's play live is an on-stage event produced by Rooster Teeth in which Achievement Hunter and members of the Let's Play family play video games and perform comedy sketches in front of a live audience. Their first event was held on February 20, 2015, at the Moody Theater in Austin, Texas. On September 14, a documentary was released about the event for sponsors on their website. Starting in 2016, LPL toured through multiple cities across North America. LPL returned to Austin the night before RTX 2018 began. In August 2018, Rooster Teeth announced they would replace RTX Sydney 2019 with three Let's Play live events in different cities. Topic: Podcasts. Topic. Topic. Rooster Teeth Podcast Topic. On December 9, 2008, Rooster Teeth launched the Drunk Tank Podcast, which was renamed the Rooster Teeth Podcast in 2011, with the previous name not being attractive to advertisers. The podcast is released weekly, and has won several honors, including being the most downloaded podcast on iTunes and winning the Best Gaming Podcast Award at the Podcast Awards in 2013 and 2014. Topic. Other podcasts Topic. On May 18, 2013, Sorolla announced that Rooster Teeth would begin a second weekly podcast focusing on gaming due to their main podcast, which started as a gaming podcast, had become more of a comedy podcast. Sorolla stated, Starting next week we will be kicking off a new gaming-focused podcast. We realize that the Rooster Teeth podcast doesn't talk about gaming too much so we're launching a brand new weekly podcast that focuses solely on games. The first episode of the patch was released on May 21, 2013. 
On June 21, 2013 they also began producing special episodes of the Rooster Teeth podcast titled The Rooster Teeth Spoilercast in which they discuss television shows, movies, and video games in full detail after they have been released. As a stretch goal for Laser Team, Rooster Teeth also began producing Screen Play, a podcast that focuses on television and film. On December 29, 2016, the last episode of The Patch was released. On April 15, 2017, they released the first episode of a new gaming podcast, Glitch Please. The No released the first episode of The Patch on May 21, 2013. As a stretch goal for Laser Team, Rooster Teeth also began producing Screen Play, a podcast that focuses on television and film. The No also released the first The Patch Game Club episode on March 18, 2015, with the last episode released on September 7, 2016. On December 29, 2016, the last episode of The Patch was released to be replaced on April 15, 2017 by the newly released gaming podcast, Glitch Please. On February 9, 2015, Rooster Teeth launched the Funhouse podcast, Dude Soup. The podcast stars four Adam Kovic, Bruce Green, Lawrence Sontag, and James Willems members of Funhouse, with occasional guest appearances from other Rooster Teeth employees. Dude Soup focuses on comedy, gaming news and game culture in general. Funhouse also hosts a FAQ podcast. On October 30, 2015, the Achievement Hunter-specific weekly podcast off-topic premiered for Rooster Teeth first members. The first four episodes, regarded as test episodes are only available to Rooster Teeth first members. All following episodes are available to the general public on YouTube and iTunes. The podcast does not focus on any one topic, but bounces around from television to video games to stories from the life of the Achievement Hunter members, which includes the entire A team, and not just the Core 6 members. The podcast is hosted and produced by Michael Jones. On February 19, 2016, a podcast titled, Fan Service, premiered. Fan Service features the Rooster Teeth Animation Department to talk about anime and animation. The first four episodes were, Test Episodes, Rooster Teeth First Members. Eventually it was confirmed through the Rooster Teeth Twitter to premiere on YouTube October 21, 2016. On September 1, 2016, a podcast titled, Always Open. Premiered for Rooster Teeth first members. Always Open stars Barbara Dunkelman and guests to talk about life, love, sex, etc. The first four episodes additionally being test episodes, only being available to Rooster Teeth first members. On March 21, 2017, Relationship Goals premiered, starring Jeff Ramsey and Griffin Ramsey discussing modern relationships with other couples. Topic. Community and website. Topic. I think the biggest place we've had to adapt is, we've always believed we have to have our own corner on the web, that we don't try to build our own company on Facebook or on MySpace back in the day, or even on Twitter or Snapchat. We try to have roosterdeath.com be our destination. Bernie Burns, July 8, 2016. Topic. Overview Topic. On October 4, 2004, after closing their PHP BB forums, Rooster Teeth publicly launched an online community and social networking website as a way to stay in touch with fans while maintaining their own platform for distribution. This site included features such as community statistics, journals, an image gallery and a mod point system, or emotomy. That was meant to help members moderate the site with options to like or dislike posts. Currently, it receives 5 million unique monthly visitors and is home to over 2 million registered users of which 135,000 pay $5 per month as first members. Topic. Rooster Teeth First Topic. To host their own videos, Rooster Teeth paid a co-location facility $13,000. The cost from server fees prompted Rooster Teeth to implement a site-wide program called Sponsorships in 2003, later rebranded as Rooster Teeth First Members, which gave paying members access to content before being offered to the public, in addition to extra site features, exclusive videos and merchandise. Sponsorships have been credited with 
keeping the lights on in the company's early years and a major reason for Rooster Teeth's growth and the first way that they monetized content. On July 1, 2016, the ad free sponsorship program was rebranded as First and offered a new option to upgrade to an even higher level tier called Double Gold that included such perks as, a 10% discount on all Rooster Teeth items, first access to live event VIP passes and a box of merchandise carrying a value more than $60. <laughs> Topic. Community Topic. Rooster Teeth S founders often emphasize the importance of the community and how it has helped them to remain relevant in web culture. In 2010, Bernie Burns stated he could not imagine Red vs Blue or Rooster Teeth without the community site. In 2014, Gus Sirola stated, "From the beginning, we have always maintained and promoted our own community site since before YouTube even existed." Building community is key to having an engaged, active audience who really enjoy your content. Burns expanded on this in September 2014, attributing how they they managed to build a global audience to constantly engaging in a two-way conversation with the company's hyper-engaged core. In 2016, Burns reiterated their growth again to listening and taking the community's feedback to heart. Burns repeated in 2016 that he considers the secret to the company's successes is their community and their conversation with the community. Our model revolves around being the home for a core community, and growing it year after year. The loyalty of a community to spread the gospel of your brand is absolutely critical. Full screen CEO George Strompolos, after acquiring Rooster Teeth, cited the insanely powerful community as a reason they felt the company was a perfect match to buy and later attributed Laser Team's success to the power of the community. In 2015, during the production of Rooster Teeth's first feature, co founder and director Matt Hullam stated, We would not have been able to make Laser Team without the community and really I don. T think we would have wanted to. Quote. In 2017, Burns re-emphasized that community is the cornerstone of Rooster Teeth and one of their core values they impress upon new employees. Topic. Distinguished community members Topic. Community members have distinguished themselves on and beyond the website. Notable people to come from the community include Gavin Free, Barbara Dunkelman, and Kent Nichols. In October 2008, community member Jeffson became the first person to post that Barack Obama's presidential campaign had taken out billboards within the Xbox 360 version of Burnout Paradise. After being posted to his journal, the story was picked up by major news outlets, including GamePolitics, MTV, and Wired. In 2010, Achievement Hunter community members Axialmet and Hightower garnered attention with their Japan World Cup 3 video. For Red vs. Blue, Revelation, Rooster Teeth used 10 community members to help unlock Halo 3 armor suits for machinima production purposes. In February 2011, Burns tweeted that community member Madmanmo discovered the Rooster Teeth website was not blocked by the Libyan government and was blogging events on the website from Tripoli during the Libyan Civil War. The longest-running external resource site, Roostertooths, has existed since 2005 and contains transcripts, biographies, and a history of the red versus blue title screen. Community members have been utilized for RT productions at every single RTX. In 2011, some 400 community members were used as zombie extras for a Horde Mode episode of Immersion. In 2012, 1,800 attendees were used as extras for a scene in the RT production, Day 5, which involved shutting down the main road in downtown Austin. In 2013, hundreds of fans were used as extras for a water bomb attack in an episode of the Slow Mo Guys. In 2014, casting calls and auditions for minor speaking roles in Laser Team were held for RTX attendees. In 2015, attendees were invited to participate in an interactive narrative-driven experience called Murder at the RTX which involved hunting clues at prepared crime scenes. On June 20, 2016 Rooster Teeth confirmed they would be filming audience members at an RTX panel for use in their latest production, Crunch Time. Many employees have come from the community. 
In 2014, Burns estimated, at least a third of the company of 85 started in the fan community, adding it, keeps us grounded, and makes a whole lot of sense from a business standpoint. I don't have to explain to them what this company is trying to do. Ben McSweeney, illustrator of Rooster Teeth's logo, was hired by Burns after being found on the site's community forums in April 2003. Others include community manager Barbara Dunkelman, composers Nico Audi Roland and Jeff Williams of Trocadero, cartoonist Luke McKay, achievement hunters Caleb Deancor and Ray Narvaez Jr., Rooster Teeth Animated Adventures creator Jordan Queers, and RWBY writer and director Carrie Shawcross. In August 2014, former intern and current content producer Blaine Gibson garnered media attention when he posted photos proposing to Disney princesses at Walt Disney World. In July 2014 it was announced at RTX that fan Jordan Scott would be making the RWBY video game after posting footage of a demo he had made to his YouTube page. It was also announced during the RTX 2014 Achievement Hunter panel that community hunters Matthew Axialmet, Bragg and Jeremy Jerem 6401 Dooley would be joining AWE as its newest employees. Topic. Events Topic. Community run events have occurred regularly since 2005. These included RVBTO in Toronto, the first event, now retired and replaced with Toronto, Unconventional, RVB Canwest in Vancouver, RT Philly in Philadelphia, Rudith in Melbourne, and SideQuest in Austin. In February 2011, Sorolla announced the date for the first RTX, the company's first official fan event. Burns credited RTX, starting with the early fan events in Canada. Topic. See also Topic. List of works produced by Rooster Teeth Productions Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official website